So today we are playing a 3,000 point narrative game. If you're looking for more of a match play tournament style, this won't be it. This is very much a narrative game with narrative forces. We're playing in a psychic maelstrom battle zone for this narrative game today of 3,000 points. And we'll start off with the Eldar army, which is broken down into four separate detachments. Detachment one is a basic Eldari detachment. For troops, we've got two guardian squads, with both with bright lances. We've got a squad of rangers. For HQ, we've got the Avatar and Eldred Ulthran. You can see he's standing on a Balewind Vortex. For the purpose of this game, we are porting that into um, 40k rules. Simple enough change, it basically works exactly the same, except instead of in the hero trigger phase, it's at the start of your turn that you can choose to dissipate that particular vortex. Uh, outside of that, in heavy support, we have two D cannons, trying those out. Uh, is elites, we have mandrakes, uh, keeping up with our theme of a lot of psychic and warp distortions. Uh, and for a flyer, we have the hemlock. That completes the battalion build. We also have two Supreme HQ choices with Warlocks. Uh, for the purpose of this mission, the casts all get plus two, and it doubles the range of psychic powers, so that should make them a bit of a threat all the time. And rather than use the Warlock Conclave, which is complete and total garbage, and needs ground up rewrites to the rules to be interesting, I'm using them in the more pragmatic uh, 10 separate guys option. And lastly, we have a vanguard detachment of Inari, led by the Incarn as HQ, and also Jane Zar. Jane Zar is leading a small squad of Banshees, and then there are two Wraithguard units, one with uh, six models that have D-sides, the other with seven models that have Wraith Cannons. That's 3,000 points. For my... Ultramarine Force today versus Dan for, for at 3,000 points. I will win. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, we have a Battalion Detachment to start off with. Uh, Gilliman, my Warlord, with an Apothecary, a Chaplain with Jump Pack, and just a Librarian uh, for, for my HQ. Well, for my HQ. And then the Elites, the Apothecary, and Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, for my troops, I have a 10-man squad of incessors, uh, and they've got the Repulsor Grab Tank, and give that one a bell today as well. Uh, the other troops, a 7-man scout squad, sniper rifles and camo cloaks, and just a 7-man tactical squad with sergeant with a combi flamer and a flamer. And then just filling out the rest of the points, a... Assault Squad with two Flamers, Jump Axe, and a Storm Talon Gunship with twin Laz Cannons. Um, and then also the Spearhead Detachment. Um, so I've got a pair of Primaris Lieutenants and a Captain. Um, and then two squads of Dev Devastators. Uh, one squad with four Heavy Bolters. The other squad with two Laz Cannons and a Missile Launcher. Um, and they've both got... Uh, Razorback transports with them, uh, just for a bit of extra firepower. One with twin LAS, LAS cannons, and one with twin heavy bolters, and uh, two Vindicator tanks. Andrew won the roll-off to choose who goes first. He's choosing to go first. I'm going to attempt to steal the initiative. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a five. Okay, so yeah, my turn one. Just um, got 
tactical behind enemy lines, sort of forcing me to move the Storm Talon up, um, securing me at least one victory point, which is a miracle against Dan. Um, pretty much just moving everything up, trying to keep all my supporting characters in good positions. Um, yeah, just moving up. Had a good round of shooting against the Wraith, sort of knocked them down a couple of pegs. Happy with that. Um, and yeah, just moving up, see what happens with Dan. <laughs> In Eldar turn one, the Wraith Fighter managed to take out the Librarian. Uh, after having his smite denied, the um, <clears throat> heavy D sides managed to do it. Uh, thanks to Warlocks blowing up their heads with Terrors of the Warp, the <clears throat> Howling Banshees managed to get Soul Burst along with Jane Czar, move forward, and get into combat. Though they did lose three models just from the Psychic Backlash, the Avatar also made it into combat. Uh, the Chaplain died in that resulting uh, ensuing melee. These Rangers managed to hold Objective 3, getting me my first point. Here you can see Eldred summon the Bellwind Vortex. And Guardians managed to dish out just a couple of casualties here and there. But the big news is that the Redemptor Dread is gone. Uh, thanks to Soul Bursting activating a second round from the Wraith Guard shooting. And unfortunately, the Incarn uh, failed to soul burst herself, failed all of her psychic powers despite having a plus two to cast, and then failed her charge and took a wound on the attempt. So good times had by all. Ultramarine turn two, um, managed to kill off uh, Jane Czar, sort of char charging through, drew back, shot everything, recharged, um, disembarked the Intercessor squad, um, sort of fired that up too, just sort of helping whittle down this side a little bit, um, fired off, killed the Hemlock, yeah, Hemlock. Um, over the other side, just sort of consolidating my back corner there to the Devastators, the Scouts sort of were supporting Gilliman in the middle of the field uh, with his Apothecary and Lieutenant and all of that who have all died. Thank you so much, Solburst. Um, you're my best friend. Um, yeah, I'm very worried now for Gilliman's safety. For Eldari turn three. Turn two. Turn two. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Eighth edition feels a little weird because I did massive damage by taking out Gilliman and Thanks to some soul bursting, the Incarn got into uh, combat with uh, Rhino and took it out. And the D sides managed to take out the entire Devastator squad on their own uh, with some solid rolls there. And that left me without uh, anything to shoot at. Uh, for most of my units, both my Bright Lances missed even though one of them had a reroll. And the Avatar pretty much duffed combat, managed to miss with three of his attacks, 
and wounded only with one. So he managed to kill one Marine, and the Banshees killed two, uh, thanks to Doom. Without that, they, I don't think, would have done anything. So, all in all, I think it was a good turn, but it didn't feel like it. Uh, I think that's how Faith can be sometimes. Oh. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, Ultramarine turn three, uh, gone much better than earlier, earlier turns, um, still moving up on, on this side, you would have noticed last turn that Avatar and Howling Banshees, um, through the concerted efforts of everything here, managed to get rid of them, um, and over the other side, uh, everything else just fired down, lopped off another... Uh, D scythe and a couple of wounds off another one, and yeah, got two victory points this turn. Okay, on this side of the table, my warlocks have been slowly moving up. I did lose one to his head exploding from perils. But otherwise, we managed to kill off four scouts, uh, which was pretty impressive. On this side of the table, uh, using Word of the Phoenix, we managed to get the Wraith Guard over uh, close enough to shoot, and they did a good amount of damage to one of the Vindicators, uh, causing five wounds to it. And then the small, now two-man Guardian Squad managed to finish it off. And the larger Guardian Squad ended up with nothing to shoot at because the D cannons finished off the other Vindicator. And the Psychic shooting this turn was particularly potent, uh, in part because I kept perilsing and kept rolling the four on the perils chart. So I got to keep casting and got to keep casting Smite. So I just got to keep doing uh, small wounds here and there to different units. So all in all, uh, Substantial turn. I'm still not sure if it's enough, though. We'll see how it goes. Is it still in slow mo mode? No, no. no? I, did, I did change it. Alright, this turn I did a lot of damage, but I didn't really score any points. Uh, I had a bunch of objectives that I couldn't really achieve. Um, here you can see I wiped out the Primaris Marines and their tank, uh, thanks to Soul Burst, allowing me two times to fire on the tank. So I got a total of 15 hits on it. Uh, they did most of the damage and the Guardians finished it off. Thanks to Doom. Doom did a lot of heavy lifting this turn. And in this little corner of the world, my Warlocks got a bit closer. And my D cannons got in range to start putting out some pot shots and actually did a little bit of damage. But as I said, no points scored. So, eh. Okay, so Ultramarine's turn five. Uh, pretty much hiding in the back corner at the moment, hoping that the game ends at the end of Dan's turn five. Um, still managed to get uh, two victory points this turn. Um, one with shooting, one with combat. Um, yeah, hoping the game ends at turn five. <laughs> Last turn was one of the best turns I've ever had. 
Mm. You know, it just sort of, you know, racking up six in one turn. Eleven. <laughs> I rolled well on the dice and one of them was... Yeah, one was two, three plus three. three. Snipers. Okay, so other than the captain, nothing moved? No, nothing else. Yeah, he's just okay. retreated just to make sure everything's in range for his little bonuses. Um, and yeah, okay, so snipers are going to fire at the Autark. Yep. Um, yeah, snipers firing at the Autark. He is going to fire at them. He can just see them. Yep. Um, and then Laz Cannon's missile launchers are going to fire at... Well, actually, no. Laz Cannon's are going to fire at the squad with just two guys left. Yep. Missile launcher can't see that squad. He's just going to fire into them. Okay. Okay. So, I'll go missile launcher into the big squad. Hit. Wound. Uh, negative three. Into the big squad Into the guardians. big squad guardians. So it's just a single shot missile? Yeah. Okay. Um, you said negative three? Yeah. So one of them is dead. You know what? I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to uh, take it on the on the platform. Yeah. Cause it's negative. It's two up. Yeah. Cover. So that means five up. Yeah. Nah. How many wounds? Three. Ah, that kills the first one. <laughs> and then the twin Laz at the other the squad with one guy on the platform. Yep. Both hit. Both wound. Okay. Same negative three. Negative three, and I'll start. Well, take them on the uh, on the platform. So saved. No, didn't save. No, didn't save. Did two wounds. So two platform's wounds. dead. And then the other dude just dies. Yep. Left out a unit, sir. <laughs> um, all right, and then snipers firing at the Autark. Um, nope, two hits. One wound. Okay. Normal uh, armor save. Normal armor save. So in ruins, two up. Saves. All good. And then the twin Laz into the Wraith. Not moved. No, one hit. Oh no, it didn't move this turn. No, it moved last turn, so it's two hits. Okay. And. Toughest five. No, three to wound. Two wounds. <laughs> Negative three. So that's five, uh, five up. Made one, failed one. Made one, failed one, so the one on one wound is dead. Arg. And. I'd say very much because the middle of the board was there. Yeah. I didn't get you out of that range. You can burn that one along with the other ones. And no prisoners. I killed one unit. Yes, you did. So I get one victory point. Bumps you up to 12. Yeah. Alrighty. Not enough. These guardians are going to advance four inches. Seven plus four is 11. Oh, I think they're going to be shy. No. No? No. They're just two and a half inches away. Exposing themselves yep. to murder. Well, I've got lots of big damage weapons. I mean, yeah, I could fire a frag missile at them, but meh. Yeah. <laughs> frag missiles are great for shooting at soft squads in a building. Because <laughs> it automatically rolls a six. I just remembered those were negative one to hit anyway. I forgot. Uh, he's going <laughs> to advance the same distance. Eleven. These guys don't care, they're just going to spread out. They find all 
all this fascinating. Well, they would have found it more fun if they had shown up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my original intent was to bring them in on turn two. Yeah. And I just, they got blocked by everything, so I couldn't see them when I was doing stuff. Uh, these guys are going to advance two inches, so... Run away. All right, uh, that moves us to the psychic phase. Um, this time, Eldred is going to cast the storm, the yep. bell and vortex. Yep. Plus two. Fear higher. Oh yeah, he's he's doing it. Cool, Eldred. Okay. All right. Um, next, he is going to cast Fortune on this guy, which works a lot. Oh, yeah, a lot. Um, and he's going to smite, and I think this dude here is the closest model. Yep. Got a two and a one. I'm going to use the Runes of the Farseer to redo both of that, just to yep. see if I can get a proper score. Ah! The fuck! <laughs> so, I got off wrong. the large one. Yeah. With all those pluses, but I also got Perils, or Terrors of the Warp. Yep. Terrors of the Warp, I get a five, which means I roll to see if you take control. control. You do, yes. but I'm going to use a command point to re-roll. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Uh, but I did get off. Um, yep. Six damage. And it's all my psychicking. Um, next, shooting. <laughs> I don't have anything that can shoot that far. And then I guess that moves on to the end of the phase. Um, I have secured objective five. Yep. I mastered the warp with three powers. Yep. Uh, so that's D three. You guessed it. Psychological warfare is unachievable. This guy with the skies is unachievable. And I have two defends which don't take effect till next turn. Yeah. So add another four. Another four. So you, sir, are on twenty. Twenty. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, you're on sixteen, so you're on twenty. 20. All right, does the game continue? Sure. It's my turn to roll. It is. Four up. No, the nope. game has ended. <sighs> it was a great that game brutal. until turns four. <laughs> brutal. Shit. So you had me till the top of turn five. <laughs> it was going very well. And then I happened to draw... Just the best set of cards that I could have for the given situation. Oh, you know, sort of, I had, like, yeah, you had more units than me, but I had some strong stuff left. Yeah. You know, sort of turn three, turn four, really sort of, you know, took its toll on my army, though. And then, bang, 11 victory points. Mm -hmm. 11. <laughs> you know? What I achieved for the game. I what, I scored 11 the turn after I scored none. Yeah. Yeah. But still. So, yeah. That was... <laughs> well, no, I get it. I mean, I just... I, I had... I thought I was doing real well early. Mm. And then you just kept chipping away. And you hit some really big uh, VPs on that turn... Yeah. Top turn five or, bottom, or top turn four. Oh, turn, turn three, turn four. I yeah. sort of, you know, achieved, you know, three, three points out of turn, four points yeah. out of turn. 
you know, I was sort of steadily going through, but losing units mm. in the process and just was unable. You know, turn five, turn six, I had no choice. I was hiding in the corner. Yeah. You know, it sort of, you know, the second the start, the, you know, my captain pushed forward and then ended up, you know, the lieutenant was just that tiny bit far forward. Yeah. Bang! You know? Biggest unit to survive the game was your Razorback. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, because. everything else took wounds. Everything yeah. else was was wounded. It was just that one, you know, the Predator back. Yeah. You know, it just <laughs> fantastic unit. As, as far as a narrative game goes, because the the psychic phase was a little wonkier than normal, mm. um, and we talked about it ahead of time, and yeah. I actually thought you were going to bring more librarians. I was, and I, I am annoyed that I didn't, but then I was trying to, you know, trying to complement all my other units, and then I was like, well, I'm doing, you know, half my army is going to be a very sort of sit-back long range sort of cover mm. cover the assault units cover the vindicators yeah. as they went forward and I'm like well I'm going to need you know I'm going to need one of my lieutenants mm. for you know sort of re-rolls to wound I'm going to have a captain in there for re-rolls to hit yeah. you know and just optimising them as much as I could I was intending to push forward a lot harder mm. with the heavy bolts of Devastator Squad. Yep. But they just sort of, I don't know, I sort of half forgot about them turn two and they just mm. sort of stalled in the middle of the tower. You know, but then through my own stupidity, Gilliman got caught in the open, mm. soul bursted, you know, and just annihilated. Yeah. And turn well, three. Yeah, that was in the psychic phase that he bought yeah. it and then you rolled the one, spent the point, and I rolled the two. Rolled the two, yeah. Yeah. Um, poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so far, from four deaths in game, he's only ever come back once. Okay, and so died you're, you're immediately like, afterwards. You're like due to come back on a run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just it doesn't come back for me. But yeah, that's all but, right. But the time he's on the board, you're oh, rolling everything. Everything. So that to is... hits to wound. Yeah, you know, you're not doing morale checks. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And then everything shoots at him. Yeah. And unless it's putting out more wounds, you know, really, he laughs at it. Yeah. I loved the way you um, focus fired on the uh, Wraith Fighter. You didn't give it that second turn when you got it down to one wound. No. You just kept going. Oh, I had when to. you could have shot at other stuff. Mm. Um, also, you tore up my Wraith Guard units before yes. they got a chance to do anything. Oh, they... Um, but... Yeah. Yeah, in every previous game, going up against Raid Card. You know, bit I mean, the D sides, geez, you made some saves on that unit. You know, yeah, you well, I also lot. did some damage with that unit because oh. I just kept rolling high for the rolls. Mm. I've used them in other games and I actually don't find them that impressive. Yeah. I find, like, if I'm not using them as an Ari, I just find them very, very overpriced. Yeah. But when you use them as an Ari and you roll high on that shooting, Suddenly, they feel like they're worth every point you pay. Yeah, because they were a well, you, huge difference maker for me. Well, that you're game. getting to use them two, three times a turn. Yeah, rather than once. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just, I, oh. I ended up taking out uh, Gilliman and a Vindicator and the, the Devastator Squad. Devastator Squad. They took out four and the units. Repulsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four units. Yeah, they were they were well and absolutely truly. beastly. Well. Gilliman, 360. Yeah. The Repulsor, 330. Yeah. The Devastator Squad, 120, roughly. Yeah. Know, around that line. Um, no, 180. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, all bits and pieces elsewhere. Like, they they got their points back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they were Twice. an absolute workhorse for mm. me this game. Mm. Um, I was very uh, surprised by that. Yeah. Uh, the warlock thing, that was fun, uh, just please. as a thing to try. Oh, please don't ever do it again. <laughs> just well, in, a, in a normal game though, psychics. in a normal game they would not have the eighteen inch range. Yeah, they would only have a nine inch range. Yeah, so I don't think they'd be quite so. Yeah, you wouldn't even worry about yeah. them until unless turn three. unless you played ultra aggressive. Mm. So someone like Grey Knights might 
uh, kind of not be pleased about it. But no. otherwise, you know, it, it takes so much that. work. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would. Um, but it was still much more valuable than the Conclave. The Conclave yeah. wouldn't oh. really have functioned. Plus, by the end of the game, the fact that I had three individual warlocks still left on the table sort of spread out mm. allowed me to have the extra units in your deployment zone to have another point taken by just a spare warlock who was who was just sitting at the back yeah, holding objective on back. one just yep. just chilling and then yeah, got you an extra five yeah victory points yeah. um oddly enough terrors of the warp was really fun i kind of yeah. wish you brought more psychers just so you oh. could have had the chance to roll that Oh, I can guarantee um, that first thing I'd have rolled once. <laughs> you know, just gone. You know, not once rolled a four, let alone three times in a row. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, that was that was also a turning point for me. Yeah. Was that I got lucky to keep getting terrors and keep rolling, rolling that, four. that four and mm. get to cast another spell, even if it's one I'd already cast. Yeah. And so I could just keep smiting things yeah. with the really big smite. Yeah, Eldred had what, like three that turn. Well, I think he did. He did three or four across the whole game, and you got, yeah, you know, the eleven plus. Yeah, yeah um, just <laughs> good night, Irene. Everything, everything he targeted was just gone. Yeah. yeah, so he he was really good for that. Um, this was a unique scenario, though, so that's mm. not something we would normally see out of him or out of Eldar psychers in general. In in practice, I'm actually not happy with them at all. Yeah. Um, because their spells are so high to cast, they don't do that much most of the time. Mm. Like, realistically, I'd prefer Catalyst, uh, Catalyst to Fortune. Yeah. Um, and it's easier to cast. Even with the Farseer runes, I've had a horrible time trying to cast things. Yeah. And... Well, you've had it very easy. Not easy. For, well, this game was easy. Oh, <laughs> for, in, for casting. In previous editions, but, you, know, you sort of... Well, they're a psychic grace. They, yeah. it, they've always, yeah. you know, been solid at casting. But, you know, now in the face of Grey Knights or even uh, most Marine powers are, what, six? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right So that, that, that extra, you know, trend roll sevens for everything, mm. especially when other races have pretty much the same exact power but cheaper, mm. um, is really frustrating. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, the the Eldar HQ is like I'm loving the Autark just because he's the cheapest way I can get rerolls to ones mm. for hitting, um, and I can sit him with whatever unit I really want to make sure is going to have solid shooting yep. in case I duff my rolls. Uh, whereas Guide, I find too, um, I can't really depend on it. Nah, you were rolling a lot of one reroll one. Yeah. More than I normally do. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I didn't go through all my command points. No, I had I had two left and, by the end. Yeah. Uh, that was something that I felt like I should have burned more early. Mm. And I was just so paranoid about not having them when I needed them. Yeah. That I just refused trying to, to use save them. it for that yeah. big power, trying to save it for that that last little bit. You 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 find that. But I the one thing you can't be unhappy, you know, you've got a lot of negative four yes. weapons in your arm. Yeah. You have a lot. Yeah. And all the bright lances, all the um, distort weapons. Yeah. Are all negative four. Amazing. Like the amount of time, like, you know, my vehicles. Just don't get a save. Just don't. Nothing. And just mince through them. Mince through them. Mince mm. through them. Yeah, it's sort of. I also rolled really well against your vehicles when I hit them with, like, bright lances. Which usually yes. I never do. This was the what? best Bright Lances have ever been for me in a single game. The last time against my guard. Yeah. You know, you'd hit, yeah. you'd wound, you'd do one. Yeah. You'd do two. You'd re-roll, and then you'd do one. <laughs> yeah, you know, it just, nothing. You, you know. mm. um, still love the Avatar of Kane. He yeah. is just so much fun to use. He That's it. When I have him on the table, he's just fun. Mm. Uh the avatar, the Incarn, the Avatar of Inead, uh, that model, um, I'm still getting a bit used to it, but I mostly like it. Yeah. Um, I don't like bursting it. <laughs> I, 
hoots at some. Uh. It's it's what surprises me so much is that the Avatar is you look at him and he's just monstrously good in combat. Mm. And you know it. Yeah. And you look at the Incarn and he doesn't seem like he's going to be as good. Yeah. But he really is. Yeah. You know, that reroll to wound uh, just does amazing things. He's yeah. got more attacks. Um, and being able to sort of bop him around on the table. Oh, oh that ability. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd forgotten someone. that that was uh, able to happen. Yeah. And it was just perfect timing that it was, you know, your avatar, la- the avatar of Kane lasted as long as it did. Yeah. That all I really, I had, I had two demolisher cannons left. Yeah. Which, I mean, luckily for you, you know, I rolled two on the first shot on the first tank and then one on the second tank. And I still managed to knock six wounds yeah. off it. But if I had anything else left in that on that side of the table, I could have killed it. Yeah. You know, it was just, you know, so lucky, but... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, those oh. those six wounds, those are, if you rolled like a one there, mm. uh, I think you would have had the Incarn to deal with for a lot longer. Oh, yeah. He, he would have... He, he probably could have gotten in that farther corner once you killed one of the warlocks. Yeah. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. yeah. Game over then. <laughs> but, yeah, I was... Overall, I loved it. Um, how long was that game? That was probably six hours for 3,000 yeah. points. Remove, remove smoke break. And eating. And, and lunch, lunch break. Lunch. So probably... Four and a half hours of play. Yeah, four and a half, five hours at yeah. most. Yeah. At most. Which we used to play 3,000 point games and it would last most of the day. Yeah. So oh, this, this was much faster. Yeah. Um, despite the fact that I had to keep looking things up early on. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm still doing it. It's too much to remember. Yeah. I'm getting old. Yeah. Well, I'm getting old. You're <laughs> I, old. I already am old. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. I mean, you know, we're knocking out games in store. Yeah. Whatever, just little 1,000, 1,500 point games. You know, if you know you want to be a bit of a dick about what you're bringing, you can table something yeah. in and out. Yeah. Um, playing a narrative game, I really liked it. Mm. I, th- I thought it was possibly more fun than when you play the, the more serious match point, uh, match game. Uh, mm. Just because we could kind of be so much more flexible with what we're trying to do with the lists and things like that. Um, yeah. trying to make it thematic so I, yeah. I'd really like to try more of the war zones to see if yeah. there's much wacky fun as this one was yeah yeah I think next time yeah next time yeah if I bring my guard or sort of maybe try and do something similar mm. and do you know do an imperial list with only a small section of space marines a large chunk mm. of imperial guard and maybe a small chunk of mechanical Really? You know, yeah. You're finally going to start doing some mechanical. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I've, I've wanted to see you paint them for so long. <laughs> you no, know, I just, you know, not an engine seer, but just, you know, sort of maybe just a small, you know, some robots. I'm, I'm know, cool with that. You have you know. Cole now, don't you? No. Oh, no, he's no, in the No, he's, he's, he's in the first set. Okay. He's in the first set. I never got yeah, there. I think he's another ridiculous, crazy rerolls guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that would be ludicrous putting him in there yeah i mean i wouldn't put gilliman yeah but yeah sort of having something small maybe a captain one squad mm. or maybe even just a lieutenant maybe just you know sort of marine lieutenant a squad maybe two squads and then the rest guardsmen yeah you could deal with numbers <laughs> you know 60 conscripts 40 guardsmen seven eight tanks <laughs> Yeah, nine, ten tanks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our next game, we're actually going to play another game. Mm. Uh, right now, it's going to be a much smaller game. I'm not going to film that one because this is a lot of work. <laughs> and uh, also, it's an entirely experimental list for me, which mm. I'm just using as a learning experience. Yeah. Um, and so. I'm testing out another unit of Primaris Marines and just seeing, seeing if I remembered how to play a list without any vehicles. Mm. Oh, no, I've got one. Yeah, I've got one testing out the repulsor, just sort of seeing because I played it very defensively, and now I'm hoping this game I'm going to play it very aggressively, and just see how that goes. Mm. So see if in your face, you know, 
how it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're giving ourselves a chance to really mess things up, not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> So at least we can use units we mostly know what we're doing, mm. <laughs> doing with on camera. So, yeah. Until next time. Great game, man. Yeah, thanks for beating me again. <laughs> it's great for my morale. Yeah. <laughs>